Welcome back once more. Time for our review of the Hornby TT120 2024 magazine that has just been released with the May issue of Hornby magazine. Hornby magazine also have substantial amounts of their pages devoted to HST. You have updates there and we have quite a substantial section in the early update part given over to TT. So you have the J50s, you have the level crossings, etc. So have a look at that. Plenty there to keep you interested if you want to find out about the latest TT stuff. Here's the new catalog. Now, some of it's the same as we've seen before. Some of it is definitely new. This is largely the same. I like to see the close-up of the couplings. That helps. They do look strange when you're not used to them. They work well. Do approve of the couplings. Some folk have swapped them out for magnetic ones. If you're not going to do much shunting, if you've got long trains that are just staying together as consists, that works fine. As rakes, that works fine. This is really the same as before. This is the beginning of the new section, train sets. You've got the Scotsman, you've got the Easterner. They've been out for some time. Well reviewed, excellent. Intercity 125, this is brand new. Out before the end of the year. Superb set, superb value. Available in DCC Ready or HM7000. So, if you're looking to jump into the scale just now, spoiled for choice. Probably would say the HST is the best value, but of course, you may prefer slightly less modern. You've got the Scotsman, which is Blink Bonnie, and you've got the Eastern as well, which is William Whitelaw. Here's the newly announced uh, Steam. 060 we've all been waiting for they've plumped for a j50 and i think this gives them plenty of scope there's lots of other liveries they can work on as well we have the early br we have the lner and we have the late br now notice there are some tooling variations you can see here at the back higher coal load and also some slight variation on the safety valves there may be other tooling variations as well that I'm not familiar with, but I'm not particularly, I never had a J50. It's nice to see a kind of shot of it here, giving you an inclination of what we might expect. Flying Scotsman already been out before. You can see the new tag, the red indicating new stuff. This has all been out before. However, this is imminently to be released. These are the Princess Coronations. We have the Duchesses, basically. Duchess of Athol, Duchess of Montrose, Duchess of Abercorn. And these should be superb locusts when they come out. I think there will be a noticeable step up, in fact, from quality and weight from what we've had before. Keep your eye on that. Out soon. Moving on to these electric locals, we've got the 08s. They've been out for a while, but this is a New livery, this is the BR Green. We don't no longer have a BR Blue, but a lot of folk were looking for the BR Green. On this side, these also are out in the next few months. Class 50s, very good specification for them. I think they should be excellent. Class 66s, expecting them by the end of the year. It's a busy old time in TT120. Here we have the HSTs, they are not long out, brilliant reviews, the driver car is particularly heavy, that will haul a prototypical train, no difficulty at all between the driving cars. Lots of features on them, really well thought out, well designed. Time for coaches. Now, new here, this is just slightly new, these have been out before with different uh, names to them. Have a look and see what you can find here. Lots of coaching op coaches as options for those who are looking to build up realistic uh, trains. Not my area, I'm afraid, so I am just moving more quickly through this. But as you can see, plenty of scope for choice. Wagons, you've got a new livery for the 12-ton tank wagons. You've got a BP Shell one and a Benzol. So these are new. This is also new, the IFA. This has been released already by Arnold, but there's new um, containers for the UK releases. 
These are uh, die cast metal uh, chassis. These are, should be excellent and smooth runners when they are released. Keep an eye out for them. 21 ton mineral wagons not out yet, but again, isn't far away. Likewise, the hoppers not out yet, not far away. Down here, TTAs have been out for a little while now. They are superb models. Really beautifully done. Credit to the designer. Future releases. Class 37, they showed off uh, in the launch video. Really looking forward to that coming through. Now, this is something slightly different. This is a KFA, either a container wagon or a tanker container wagon, which is what they're showing here. And that should certainly augment beautifully what they have announced before. That will go with it, uh, 66, and I suspect that will be a very well-received model when it comes out. In terms of future steam, the 9F and the Castle are getting the headline features. Plus, so this is planned but not greatly developed yet, Britannia, Black 5, J94, Class 5700 Pannier, and more. The Albert Glittery and much more. Class 31s and the diesel electric, they're underway. Class 37s, we've seen not far away. Plus 47, 60, 67, 73, looking forward to them. And Hitachi Class 800. Coaches working on the Gresleys, they're still coming. GWR and BR Collet coaches, they're underway. Mark 1, parcels and second class, underway. Track, quarter cars, but Y point is still planned. Nice to see that. Wagons, con flats, they're coming. Horse box is coming. The KFA we've mentioned. Also, sea cows and VGAs. So they're underway as well. Great to have these confirmed in the catalogue. On this side, that's not directly TT120, but it's scale agnostic. If you haven't got that system and you're interested at all in DCC, this is the way to go. Jump aboard it. It's superb. Sound profiles relating to TT120 models. The only uh, local that's released in TT120 that doesn't have a sound profile so far is a class 08 because it's a six pin which doesn't take a sound chip, which is definitely a, a gripe and a frustration, but that's what it is. Likewise, the new Steam 060s, there are none of them preserved, so getting a sound profile is next to impossible for that. You'll have to simply either uh, accept it as a soundless loco or try and improvise in some way. Track and accessories, we've got the um, level crossing, which is modular, which allows you to build up uh, to accommodate a double or triple or even quadruple track on that system. That's quite a clever idea. I've not seen that done before. Good thinking went into that. Here we have junctions, uh, home signals. You've got the junction, you've got the home, you've got the distant and the junction distant. These look excellent. Slightly confused by the pricing in them, in that the uh, distance signals seem to be more expensive for some reason. Not exactly sure why, but there's talk of these also, and the level crossing being um, motorized in the future. That's something worth watching. Extension packs, we've seen that before. Nothing new there, but over the page, as well as the geometry, we have these extension pods. Now, this does look very interesting. This basically adds a next level of complexity to a fairly basic layout and various options for doing so, along with a full listing of required track. Now, I would love to see this sold as a single piece, a single purchase with a discount because you're buying some bulk. Don't know if that's what they're intending or not, or just suggested of how you might put things together. We'll wait and see exactly when that appears. Some small layouts, medium layouts, showing just to give you an idea of what can be done. And that's really us getting to the close. Buildings. Lots of new buildings have now come into stock. The quality of what they've done so far, I haven't got any of the new ones, but has been very good. These have also been well received. My favourite is particularly Shepherd's Rest. I think that's a lovely little homely looking home. Also including Oxford here, 
and Oxford's TT120 scale vehicles range has been extremely well received and is expanding. So have a keep a close eye on that. Scenics, well, these are trees that weren't directly designed for TT, but how big is a tree? How high is a tree? It's largely scale agnostic, so you can certainly add some realism to the layout through these things as well as the scattered. And then a wee reminder with the digital club, free to join. Some benefits, less benefits than they used to be, certainly, but no reason not to have it. And that's us. So thanks very much for watching. Hope that we get under 10 minutes, slightly over the 10 minutes, but hey ho. Keep an eye on what's coming next. Plenty more planned. Don't forget to watch the Let's Talk TT uh, with uh, Chris over at Peachy TT120. If you haven't seen it already, please go and do that. Thanks very much. If you can like, if you can subscribe, that's much appreciated. Bye for now.